The case begins in the month of October, back in 1936, when the Brady Gang broke out of an Indiana jail and sped away in a stolen car. On their trail was a special squad of so-called G-Men. The flying squads, as we call them, that would go after the gangsters. That was FBI historian John Fox. Police from multiple states were also after the Brady Bandits, who were accused of murdering a police officer, robbing about 150 stores, and transporting their stolen goods across state lines. The gang managed to elude the law for one year. They lived peacefully in Baltimore, but carried out their crimes in the Midwest. And so it was hard to figure out where they were. Eventually, the U.S. Attorney General offered a $1,500 reward for information leading to the arrest of the Brady Gang. One urban legend has it that they said, we're going to make the Dillinger Gang look like pikers. Alfred Brady, James Dahl, Hoover, and Clarence Schaefer formed the Brady Gang. Their goal was to enrich themselves. They wanted money to live an easy life and didn't want to work at it and were happy to rob whoever they could. The infamous Brady Gang of the Depression era wanted to restock their weapon supply, so the fugitives ordered guns at a hardware store in Bangor, Maine, where they believed they would not appear suspicious. But as FBI historian John Fox explains, the clerk told local police who told the Bureau. We staked out the place. We put two agents in the store acting as clerks. We had two agents upstairs. We had agents out on the street. When the gang returned to pick up their order, a special agent arrested one of them. Another gang member shot and wounded an agent, but was killed when agents returned fire. As for gang leader Al Brady, he told agents, I give up, I give up, but he starts reaching for a gun, and we fire and he dies in the street there. The gang's deadly multi-state robbery spree was over that October day, which was just 24 hours short of a year of when the FBI first got involved in the case. The only gang member left standing was sentenced to die for the murder of a police officer. It should be up here on the left. Hey, 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 hey. See the kid? Al Brady, it's the FBI. We're coming to get you. Brady. Hello, spirits. Go to spirits, say my name is Tony. COVID 19. COVID 19. Oh my God. COVID 19 came through the spirit box. And it was like in a creepy voice. <coughs> Are we gonna die from this virus? In time. Do you have any um, warnings about the virus? Every day. Get up. Every day. Get up. Be prepared. What's the name of the virus? COVID-19. COVID-19. Could a spirit help me find Al Brady? Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Al, I make a deal with you. If you come and talk to us, I'll give you a dollar. Turner! 
My father's last name is Turner. His name is Howard Douglas Turner. My grandmother's name was Irene Turner. This person is not going to want to drive past my fucking car. Any luck? Huh? They can get the fuck over. Alfred, we finally found you. Look. Alfred. Do you want a dollar? Did you hear Brady? Alfred James Brady. But that could have been because Tom Brady today. The ins no, we're not going to do that. I'm just saying. The, the likelihood... It was all over the news. Yes, it the likelihood of me saying his name and then the fucking thing saying Brady and then that saying Brady. That sounded like news, though. No. Brady, what were you accused of doing? Did you used to rob banks? So look, I'm leaving you this dollar. Whatever the fuck that was. Do you approve of that or do you want me to take it off? What if I call you James? Is that okay? Brady, could you tell me an object that's on top of your grave? That just called me a fucking scumbag. That just called me a fucking scum. Was that radio? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That just called me a hey scumbag. <laughs> Who just called me a scumbag? <laughs> Alright. Hey, Al! Come this way, okay? We're gonna ask some questions. Al, oh, the feds are looking for you. If you get in the car, in the back seat, we can get you out of here, bro. Al, get in! We're trying to help you out, bro. Come on in. Hop in the back seat. We're gonna ask you some questions. Alright, Al, you are here. Because we got a complaint, there was some robberies. So we're gonna play some trigger music and some sounds for you, and hopefully you can reply to us once we ask some questions.
Are you still with the Brady gang? How much jewelry and diamonds did you get away with? Did you keep any of them? Did you guys lose any members of your gang? Yes. Yes. I want to talk to the Brady gang. You robbed a couple of jewelry stores. You're trying to get some ammo. Were you gunned down by the FBI? Was Dillinger with you? Can you tell me about the Brady Gang? You guys were infamous. You're from Indiana? You made it all the way to Bangor where you passed away. Nobody claimed your body though. Do you think that was because you were a criminal? Do you have any regrets about the way you lived your life? And how you ended up, or are you happy that you're forever memorialized in history? All right, Alfred, I'm done communicating. I just want to say, rest in peace. You're a scumbag. And I wish you the best of luck in the afterlife. Because you deserve what you got.